Welcome everybody to another Blender modeling tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to model a bishop chess piece, like this one shown over here. Alright, we're going to learn how to make the slot like this, okay, which uh, a lot of people might have problems doing, especially using the uh, boolean operations. So instead of using the boolean operations, I'm just going to manually model this uh, slot. And I'm going to show you how I did this uh, slot for this uh, bishop chess piece here. Okay, so let's clear the scene. And I'm going to get rid of the default cube. Alright, I'm going to press spacebar at a plane. I'm going to split, split the screen so that I have a UV texture editor. I'm going to tap to um, edit mode. Press U. Okay, and uh, unwrap this. Then I'm going to go to material, I'm going to add a new material, and then I'm going to add a new texture. Right, then I'm going to click on the uh, texture editing icon. Texture type, I'm going to change to image. And then I'm going to load a bishop image okay, as a reference. At the same time, I'm going to texture map this plane to be used as a reference. Next, I'm going to go back to ma material, and under the map input, I'm going to texture it as UV. And under the UV image editor, I'm going to click on this button here, so I can choose the image which I want the texture map. And you notice that it fits entire to the entire UV, right? So if in order to see the UV on the 3D scene, uh, you just click to change the shading to textured, all right? But you notice the aspect ratio is off, so I'm going to go to object mode first. Go to object, and then you're going to go to transform, and select scale to image aspect ratio. Okay, so once you've done that, alright, I'm just going to scale this up a little bit bigger. I'm going to go to edit mode, uh, hit S, and then just drag the mouse a bit, make it a little bit bigger. Tab out, press Ctrl A to fix the scale and rotation. Okay, so now I'm going to rotate this in the Z axis 180 degrees I'm going to rotate it again in 90 degrees sorry press R first then hit X then 90 degrees there we go so now we can go to front view and then we have reference I'm going to move this back a little bit okay, I'm going to go to front view now and I'm going to create a curve okay, let me just shift this up high a little bit right about here okay so now I'm going to press add a curve, a Bezier curve, right, which you can only view from the top view like this. I'm gonna press rotate along the x axis 90 degrees so that it faces the front view. Alright, when I press 1, the numpad will give me the front view. Right, so I'm gonna hit tab to edit the curve. Okay, you notice that both the points are selected, so I'm gonna press Shift H to unlock the control handles. Alright, so I'm gonna move one of the handles here, one or one of the vertex here. And to make it easier to I mean these to hide these handles, I have to go to the uh, this editing button here and then the this raw handles I'm gonna disable it. So I only see the control points. So I'm just gonna draw one point here. Holding down to control I'm gonna extrude the points. Okay I'm gonna get rid of this manipulator as well it's obstructing my view all right so I'll just hit control to draw the profile of the bishop okay I'm just gonna do this a little bit rough Just keep on drawing the profile. Holding down the control, just continuously following this shape here. And right at the top here. Alright, so now if you tab out, you'll notice that we have a nice profile of the bishop chess piece. So now we're going to revolve around this curve. 
and uh, to give it the shape of this bishop. So next thing we want to do is to create a circle shape. So let's hit spacebar and add curve. Make sure you're in object mode when you do this. So Bezier circle. And you notice a circle shape will appear below. And under the uh, editing function, right, you can see there's this bevel object. So I'm going to use this the profile which we've just drawn as a bevel object. Now the default name of this profile object, because this is the first curve that has been created in this scene, is called curve. So you can highlight this and you can press Ctrl C or Ctrl C to copy. Okay. And then select the select the circle, right mouse click to select, and then under the bevel object, press Ctrl V to paste the curve. So when you hit enter, you notice that the shape suddenly appears. Now it, it doesn't look like the the profile of the the bishop yet, so you don't have to worry about it. Just right mouse click select the curve, go to edit, tap to edit mode, press A to select all the points, and press G to drag it along the x axis and keep pulling it out until you have a bis bishop shape looking like this. Now don't worry about the colors. Now it looks a bit odd, okay? Because technically this is still a uh, what do you call it? Uh, a curve, a circle curve, right? So it's not a solid object yet. So once you tap out of the um, to object mode, you can manually move the curve back until it follows the profile. So in this way, if you go to the front view and you go to edit the tab, you can select the points, move it around. You can still change the shape of the bishop if you're not satisfied with it. All right. So the next thing you want to do is you want to convert this into the mesh so you can start to edit it. So I'm going to uh, reduce the default resolution for the curve. Okay, right now I've selected the curve profile. The default resolution I'm going to bring it down to 4. Right, you can bring it a little bit higher if you want the resulting mesh to be high resolution. Now we need to do the same thing for the circle. So we're going to select the circle. You can just click on the bevel object itself and the default resolution. I'm going to also change it to 4 as well. And press enter. You notice that the resolution has went down a bit okay but it still looks like a decent looking chess piece. So next I want to just select the circle object 